Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to achieve the bleach bypass look in the Fincher Song. Bleach bypass, as the name suggests, is a process where when developing film, they skip the bleaching, which will keep the silver contents within the film. This will result in an image that has less saturation and more contrast. I'm going to show you how to replicate that result within the result right now. So here within the project, I have a very simple setup. I have a CSD in that takes it from S-Log, s Gametry Cine, to Airy White Gamut, CSD out that takes it from area wide gamut back to Rec 709 and Cineon film log. Then I have a film LUT here from the Fincher Resolve under film logs and then the codec D65. We're gonna add another node behind the CSD in by pressing Alt S or just add node at serial. We're gonna call this our null layer and we're gonna put it down there. Then we're gonna add a layer mixer, which we're gonna put plug in there plug this one into the bottom of it, add another node, call it bypass or whatever suits you, plug it into the top of it, and now the interesting part. To replicate this we're gonna grow, put down the saturation to zero, and probably put the contrast around 0.5 depending on your image. We're gonna go in the layer mixer, composite mode, hard light, and there we go, we replicated the look. It's that simple. There's a lot of things you can adjust here, but I'm just gonna show you the main things. So as you can see here, we have a very nice neutral look. If we turn off the bypass, you see it goes from this to this, which will result in lower saturation within the colors and a little bit less dynamic range and extremely high contrast, which you can use to create this very dark and gritty look, which can be seen in movies by David Fincher, for example, or Savic Private Ryan. Now, if you pay attention to the scope, you'll see the extreme contrast. This is without, and this is with. It doesn't clip it, but it keeps it extremely pushed out from the center. So if you want more contrast, you can up this to create an extreme look. Like, okay, maybe not that bad. Keep it, always keep it below one. But you can also make it a very light look on this level, for example. Now you go from this to this, but you don't get an extreme look. It looks very pleasing. Very natural, in my opinion. And yes, if you were wondering, this also works on a black and a white image to create that extra little bit of punch. It adds a bit of clarity that you will see in photo editing programs like Lightroom, for example. If you make it really extreme by putting it to one, you'll see what I mean with it adds clarity. That's a very dramatic effect and it could be used within a certain context. So there you have it. It's a very simple and quick technique that you can implement in your color grading workflow to create a less saturated, dark and gritty look that you might want for your film. Anyways, that was it for today. Hope you learned something. See you all in the next one.